I'm Shireen Haq from Nari Pokko in Bangladesh. And to answer your questions, uh, what is the most critical issue for our women in our region um, to ensure that the post-2015 agenda should include and look at? I think, you know, I don't think we have to discover new issues because all the issues that we identified in the 90s during the whole Beijing process, so many of those issues are still valid today. And if, there's, if you ask me if there's a single one which sort of cuts across and which could have a sweeping effect, I think it is that it, we should use the 2015 momentum to give a big concerted push for removing discrimination in law. And if that can be done as a region, Asia Pacific, um, I think that will have a major impact. So if all conversations have to come to one point, of course law in itself is not uh, the solution to everything, but it has the potential to become really catalytic. And so it, in terms of identifying one crucial issue, I would say um, remove sex discrimination from statutes, laws, policies. Um, how do we make ourselves heard? Now this is more difficult. Um, because we thought we were heard. And certainly in Beijing we were heard. Uh, it was a struggle, but we negotiated over two and a half years and got a document which I think most of us were happy to work with. And similarly the year before in Cairo, women got a document that they were happy to work with. So I think we, we got ourselves heard at that time because we were, because I think we were maybe more strategic. I don't know why, why did we get us, why were we heard at that time? Um, I, I mean, in terms of, I think sometimes it actually just boiled down to simple willingness to, you know, spend those extra six hours after the meeting ends to sit and draft and lobby and do all those things. It was like, you know, if you can outdo your government uh, delegate with hard work, then you could get it in. So it was, partly it was that, but partly it was also because um, many, many feminist activists managed to, or were included in national delegations. So they were at the negotiating table. So they were able to push the agenda forward. What is happening now, I think there has been a, a conservative backlash. So we are actually in a, a, a facing a, a bigger resistance, I think, than we did at that time. And secondly, we are all tired and older. So, <laughs> you know, and there are not enough of you people, young people, <laughs> in, the, in, in, the, in the struggle. Um, but that's what's needed, I think. Many, many more young people in the struggle and for many, many more of us to be at the negotiating table again.